Hey guys, Travis here from Alberta Backroad, and today I'm going to show you how I made the slide out cargo tray for the rear of my 2019 Jeep JL. Um, a little bit of forewarning though, during this um, video my camera did die and I did miss a few steps. However, uh, the, se the steps were pretty self explanatory. Um, you know, not too much that, you know, I'm sure you guys couldn't figure out. Otherwise, uh, you know, leave, leave any questions in the comments below or feel free to contact us by email. That's no problem at all. I can walk you through this, no problem. This uh, total assembly here cost me for lumber and for the sliders, oh geez, it only cost me maybe 80 bucks. I mean, it beats the hell out of the 700, 800 dollar ones, you know, you can buy and I mean, yeah, uh, it seems to work good so far. <laughs> I also integrated the factory cargo tie downs. So, stay tuned. guys so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the interior panels on the floor um, actually what's going to be a great help here in removing this is uh, actually the lighting system that I set up in the rear of my Jeep if you haven't seen the video on how I did that and you're a little interested in it uh, yeah be sure to, to check that out it's on our channel uh, you can find it in the uh, uh, DIYs um, Anyway, back to what we're doing here. So, in order to remove this interior floor, we're easily just gonna give this a yank and it pops up in the back, like that. And then, we're gonna remove the covers off of these hooks, remove all of these, and then remove these panels. Okay, so now that we have our interior panels out, I'm just gonna go ahead and measure how wide and how long I want my pullout to be, my base. So I'm at about 40 inches here, give us lots of room. Buy those. Two feet, 11 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead, mark them into plywood, and cut it. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do, I'm going to measure the length that I'm gonna want my mount for my slides. So I'm gonna follow the factory bolt holes here from those uh, um, cargo hooks, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the slide mount into those holes. That way there's no drilling or anything like that required to mount this thing. So, got roughly 28 inches. And now that they're measured, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my two by two board. I'm gonna cut four pieces of that at 28 inches a piece. So, I just noticed um, in order to fit these pieces here in to this location and the location on the opposite side, we're gonna have to do some trimming. So, I'm gonna have to trim this plastic off where I have these lines marked off. And the carpet, I'm gonna have to trim along the line of the carpet here as well. So, if you uh, have been watching my previous videos and you've seen my snorkel install, you already know this trick. But to those of you who's, uh, who haven't seen that, um, I'll show you a trick for cutting plastic. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, good tip, makes it super easy, and it's way safer than just trying to cut the plastic with a utility knife otherwise. So. All we're going to do is we're going to take a little micro torch and we're just going to warm the plastic up. And once the plastic is wet, that's it. We'll slice right through it with very little to no effort. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark to drill my holes to mount these uh, base rails. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty well gonna lay them where I want them. And then, 
once I got them to the position I think is fair, I'm going to mark a spot where I'm going to drill. <clears throat> Just like that. I'm going to drill these holes and I'm going to try to reuse the factory hardware here. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to drill my holes for fitment and then I'm going to have to countersink these holes. So I'm going to drill them out with, let's say, I don't know, 3 8 to fit these bolts, but then I'm going to drill down about halfway through the wood with a half inch drill bit. That way this head, this bolt is going to sink way down in here like this. Okay, so now that I have my holes drilled and countersunk, so the heads will sink down in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount the um, main piece of the slide to our bracket here. And I'm just going to mount that with some long 6 millimeter bolts like these. I'm going to use three of them on each slide. Alright guys, so I got one side of our base here assembled. As you can see, this is how it's going to work. Now I'll show you guys how I mounted the inner slide to this board here. Um, these slides too are pretty convenient, they just come to the part with a little latch like that. So instead of using bolts and nuts like I did for this slide, there was a clarity issue with this slide. So I had to use uh, some, just some Phillips head screws. I put five in there in total, some good quality wood screws. And I made the lip stick up just a little over the base of the board there. Just, uh, you know, for a little extra clearance and whatnot. And to put it together, Just like that. Okay, so now I got both sides assembled. And what I did just for some extra, you know, added security and take some of the flex out of these uh, these slides here was I actually put a, another piece of wood just right in the back here, span between the two of them. Because if you don't, they move a lot independently. Um, it could cause them to twist and maybe break in the future. So I just thought, well, maybe I'll throw a piece in there. If it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know. Um, so now I'm going to get on to assembling my base. Okay guys, I apologize if this gets shaky. Um, I'm pre-handing this right now. So, uh, all right, this is our problem here right now. We got our board and everything in, however, it hits this piece here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut out a notch. Also, I had to adjust over there. As you can see, so it would fit around the subwoofer. Other than that, it all seems to fit really well. And you've got quite a bit of room under here too. So I'm gonna make that cut, stay tuned. Okay, so we're pretty well done here. I don't have this uh, base completely secured yet. I made a few more trims. I had the 45 it there, and I 45 it over here just to kind of make it match up. But we do also have that big section that's cut out of there, which kind of sucks, but it has to happen to fit, but I can still show you the function of this right now the way it is. So, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this cooler out of here. I'm going to finish securing this to our to the arms and the back plate we have in there and then I'm gonna find something to cover it some sort of uh, material and uh, yeah after I get it secured when I find the material I'll get back to you guys and show you how I'm gonna secure the material okay, so I apologize but I uh, missed a few steps there because my camera died and I didn't even notice I cut a hole in the base um, for access to the storage compartment underneath you just uh, pull this panel out and uh, yeah, your storage is there. I also wrapped this in some uh, material, and what I wrapped it in was actually the uh, the hardtop uh, carrying bags or whatever it is. Yeah, I said, well, I'm never going to use those things, so I cut it all up and wrapped it in that. So yeah, it's a nice fit nice there. What I'm going to do next is I'm just going to mount some uh, those factory hooks right to our base here. That way we have a place to you know tie down our stuff. Okay, so. We'll install these, uh, we'll reinstall these factory tow hooks, or, um, sorry, cargo tie downs. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some six millimeter bolts, some nuts. On the bottom, I'm going to use fender washers. So I'm just gonna drill these holes where I want them to mount these things. 
Let's use that stand recorder and drill bit. Then, back in the mess. And I'll just go about installing my tow hook. I'll be lock tight on these bolts too, just so they don't back off on us. And I'm gonna do that for the remaining five tow hooks. Or, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> cargo tie downs, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are finished. We got our cargo tie downs in place. Uh, everything's all fast and secure, good to go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you found it helpful or informative at all, you know, you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this install, especially since I missed a few steps, you know, <laughs> feel free to, uh, you know, reach out to us on, uh, you know, Facebook in the comments below, or, um, you know, feel free to contact us via email. You'll find our, our email in, um, in our description on our uh, channel there. So thanks again for watching guys.